Dragon Ball Z Kakarot has been out for almost two months now and a lot of people have beaten the game's story by now, so the developers have an entire fan base pretty much hungry for new content to be added into the game. We are getting the new Time Machine feature in the next patch, which allows us to go back in time. Battle of Gods has also been confirmed to be the first DLC story expansion, and we've got plenty of leaks from data mining that points to other arcs from Dragon Ball Super being added. But if you've read the description for the season pass for DLC, you would know it includes two original story episodes. This means we'll get two DLCs that won't be based on anything that actually happened in the Dragon Ball story. This will be completely new for the game. Now the question is, what will these original two story episodes be? Well, there are three possibilities. The first possibility is we will see a story that dives into the canon of Dragon Ball heroes, like what Xenoverse does all the time. We've already seen Toa and Mira in this game, so maybe we'll see them again for this story, or maybe we'll see other villains from Dragon Ball heroes. Honestly, there are a lot to choose from. I would say the most likely scenario is we'll see few since he's pretty much the most popular villain after Mira and Toa, although he could bring along other villains we've seen as well. The next possibility is personally what I hope is the case and that is that we'll see a Dragon Ball Z Kakarot original villain. Dragon Ball Raging Blast had Hechiak and although he had been in a movie prior to that, he was originally created for a very old Dragon Ball Z arcade game. Dragon Ball Fighters had Android 21 and Kakarot could have a story DLC based on a new villain of their own. They could always use Banyu for their original villain for this arc, but I would be pretty disappointed if they did that since we've already experienced that character in the game enough. The third possibility is that they would use already established characters in the Dragon Ball story and just create a filler type story for this new DLC. If they wanted to make this super interesting, I would say put in some movie characters like Broly and Cooler, and it would be an instant buy for most people. But it could always be something like Videl and Gohan being the great Saiyan man and woman and doing a bunch of superhero stuff, or maybe Goku and Vegeta training. Honestly, there's just so much they could do, but I just hope they choose something actually exciting. But let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name's Kajik, and I'll talk to you in the next video.